Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. Just a quick disclaimer, this channel is an adult channel. It's not, the videos on this channel are not intended for children or made for children. We discuss adult topics and themes. It's May, so it is time for the completed colouring pages for April. I have got, I did count them, there's a lot of books. I think I have coloured 21 pictures in April. So I'll move this across and we'll get looking. So I've got one from the Colour in Heaven Gothic Alchemy book. And I coloured in this one, which is Nihil A Care. And I coloured this one with the uh, Black Widow pencils. Very nice. So this really dark grey scale, I'm actually really enjoying. I'm going to have to do some more in this book soon. I did another one in the Creative Haven Flower Mandalas by Marty Noble. And it was this one. And again, this was using my Link Shine Glitter Gel pens. And it would be just all the Link Shine, apart from this yellow, which was from a different set. Um, but it's, they're all glitter gel pens, as you can see. It's very shiny, very glittery. I like those. I like glitter gel pens. A lot of the pictures you're going to see today are going to be patterns and mandalas because they're easy to do. Um, I don't have so much to take out into the garden if I'm in the garden colouring. Just a few pens if I'm using pens. We did one from Hannah Lynn's Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures. And I did this one. And this one was done with, I want to say touch new markers and glitter gel pen on her tail and her brass, you know, a bra top. I enjoyed it. It seems like years ago I did this one, but I really, really enjoyed that one. I did two from Jade Summers Colouring Book for Beginners Easter. Let me just uh, zoom out slightly. Uh, so I did this egg and this was just done with the, I want to say Crayola Super Tip, but it might have been the Sharpies. It's very bright, so it might have been Sharpies. It, anyway, it was one of them. And the other one I did in this one was this one. And this was done with, that's the, yeah, they were sharp. This was done with Sharpies and gel pens. So I did those two. So that one will be going away until next Easter. <laughs> I did a couple from Jade Summer's 100 Magical Patterns. I'm trying to do this book in order. So I did this one and this was uh, done with the super tips and this one was done with glitter gel pens, um, probably a mixture of various gel pens. Some of them are the link shines, some of them aren't. I really do this and I am doing this book in order so that's the next one. Put that one to one side because I will be doing that again. I did one from the Fairy Tale Special Colour in Heaven, which again is Hannah Lynn. And I did uh, Glinda from The Wizard of Oz. And this one was done with, I want to say, I don't actually know. I want to say Black Widows, looking at it, and some gel pens for the wand and the feet. I enjoyed doing that one. I do like the handling books, I'm really enjoying those. I did one from Mandalas for Relaxation and Meditation by Camellia Angel Kova. This was the first one in the book, because again, I'm gonna do this in order. And that was done using various different colored gel pens, but not glitters for a change. So sometimes it's nice to use different ones. Next one is one of the ones we did do on camera and that's the one from Springtime by Deborah Muller of The Girl in the Rain. And that was done with Prismacolors. 
So as you can see, I've done quite a lot this month and I'm really enjoying it. I've been well, in April and I really enjoyed it. We did one from Flower Mandalas, or actually did two from Flower Mandalas by Camellia and Angel Cova. And again, it would be the first two in the book. So this was done with um, gel pens. This was, tried to do it with mostly metallics. I think there's a few glitters in there as well. There's a little, little hand print from Jennifer down there. <laughs> she put her hand on it, she'd just eaten some crispies. And this one, I thought I'd do one with pencils for a change, because I never use pencils in the Mandala book. And this was done using uh, the Tombow Rogertons light tones, one of the light tone sets. I actually quite like it, so I might do some with um, pencils in May as well. I did one from Sherry Baldy, My Bessie's Little Gypsy Colouring Book, and I've not put that in the right section, so I've got to find it. It was this one, oh, the page's got this one, of the uh, Gypsy Mama and Her Baby. And this one was done with Touch New Paper Markers and Gel Pens. I think that's so cute. The next one was done with Black Widows and this was a freebie that came from Colour in Heaven and it was the Build Your Own page for Easter. So this was the one they did, they put a rabbit and some eggs and some flowers and I did that with the Black Widows. And then I did three in my new Flower Mandala book by Jade Summer. I told you there was a lot of mandalas. So this would have been done with the Crayola Super Tips. And so this one was as well. Because they're always by me, my, by the table, they're on the table when I'm here, so. And the third one was done with the Link Shineman um, gel pens and then one random yellow gel pen because I didn't want to use gold, I wanted yellow. Um, but that's obviously very, very shiny. So those were those ones. Let me just put that one to one side so I can put that in my folder. Next one again was from the Colour in Heaven, but this one was from the Ardman collection. Um, this is the one that's not on the subscription, but they are putting them out every four weeks. And I did morph climbing out of his box. I didn't do all the background. I think it looks quite nice like that. It sort of fades out into nothingness. So, but I do like this book and I will be colouring more from that one, hopefully soon. It's just I've got so many books and I'm trying to colour in all of them. And of course I keep buying more. It's still going to be a short video because I don't chat a lot on these. Two from Geometric Mandalas by Ajayad Samar. Again, Link Shine. I saved my little tickets and I'll use them again this month. And then this one again with the link shine. It was only those two I did on it, yeah. Uh, but I only used black, silver, and two different shades of blue. So there's that one. There's a loose ticket that's from somewhere. And the final one I did was I finally finished the one from Johanna Basswood's World of Flowers that's been sitting around since last year. We started this on our colour and chat using the W. H. Smith watercolour pencils, and I never got around to finishing it. So I decided to finish it, as you can see, and all I did with it was I got the watercolour pencils out and I coloured the entire picture first and then I went round and I activated the water. I wouldn't normally do it like that, but that's how I did it. So you can see there is a very slight blue sky. Um, but yeah, I do like this book and I will be doing more in it. I don't think I use the watercolours in it. I think the paper's too smooth. Um, it is very smooth, but I might use, um, try the Black Widows in it, or a hard pencil like Polychromos, uh, an oil-based one, or the Marco Ruffines might work nicely in this one, because they like this sort of smooth paper. So, that is all the pictures I coloured in the month of April. That's the most I've ever coloured in one month. How many am I going to colour in May? I don't know. I've already done three, and it's only the second day on filming this. You'll be seeing this on the third. And I've nearly finished another one, uh, but of course I started that one last month and I've got my Kirby Rosanis one that I need to crack on with, but that's going to take me a while. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know which picture you like the best. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye.